in the inky depths of Bray Road located in Elkhorn. Wisconsin reality meets the supernatural. One man's ordinary drive home becomes a harrowing encounter of the unknown. Prepared to be gripped by fears, we visit the Bray Road showdown, where the line between the natural and the supernatural blurs, and a battle for survival unfolds in the dead of night. Join us on this dark journey as we venture into a realm where terror takes shape, and the unimaginable lurks just beyond the fog of the Bray Road showdown. It was a wild night. One of those evenings that blurred the line between good fun and outright chaos. My friends and I had just toasted to my recent promotion at work, celebrating the successes and milestones that life had thrown our way. We had painted the town red, and the clock on my car's dashboard stubbornly insisted it was now 3 a.m. Despite my slightly inebriated state, my instincts were sharp maybe even sharper than usual, thanks to my adrenaline fuel reputation. <laughs> Having spent eight years in the Marine Corps and getting hooked on going to the gym, I had spent years training, honing my body to peak physical condition. I could handle myself in a fight, and I often joked that trouble had a way of finding me. But on that night, as I sped down Bray Road, I wasn't looking for trouble. I was looking for the comfort of my own bed. The fog had descended like a spectral curtain, shrouding the landscape in an unsettling haze. My friend's laughter and the rhythmic thumping of the music from the party still echoed in my ears, a fading memory of a raucous night. But something in the air felt off, electric, almost charged with an unspoken tension. My phone buzzed insistently with a new message, but I paid it no mind. My friends were probably checking up on me, concerned about my well-being. I muttered something about having it under control and kept my eyes on the road. As I rounded a bend, my car's headlights cut through the thick fog, revealing a grotesque figure standing in the middle of the road looking literally like a deer staring at the headlights. I slammed on the brakes, my instincts kicking in like an alarm bell. The abrupt stop sent my head spinning, but there was no denying what I saw. The front end of my car hit the creature, knocking it over hard, tossing it back a few dozen yards. It scrambled to its feet, clearly not thrilled about being taken down by a Kyosol. And under my breath, all I could think to say was, Ah, oh, shit. There's no way this ends well. It snarled and lunged towards my vehicle, its yellow eyes filled with rage and embarrassment. It was as if I'd heckled a stand-up comedian and now had to face the consequences. Yellow eyes, unnaturally bright, gleamed in the darkness. The figure, part wolf, part human stood defiantly, its matted fur rustling in the breeze. Its snarl exposed rows of wickedly sharp teeth, and it had a predatory aura that seemed to defy nature itself. I didn't hesitate. My hands moved with the precision of muscle memory, reaching for my phone to document the nightmarish encounter. With each passing moment, the creature's presence grew more menacing and my heart pounded like a war drum. As I snapped photos and recorded the creature's eerie howls, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was about to face the fight of my life. The creature lunged forward, a horrifying fusion of man and beast, its eyes locked onto me with deadly intent. My instincts screamed at me to flee, but I wasn't one to back down but I also knew when it was time to get out of Dodge. With a surge of adrenaline, I slammed the car into reverse, the tires screeching as I pulled away from the creature. It gave chase, its inhuman growls echoing through the night. I knew I couldn't outrun it on the winding road, so I slammed on the brakes again, this time sending my car crashing into a gnarled tree on the passenger side. 
the impact jolted me, my vision spinning, and pain shot through my shoulder. Stumbling out of the wreckage, I tried to run, but the creature was faster. With a horrifying thud, it slammed into me, sending me sprawling to the ground. I tasted the damp earth and a hint of blood from the impact as I gasped for air, the weight of the beast pinning me down. I angrily said, what the hell are you? The creature's appearance was even more terrifying up close. Its fur was matted with filth and blood. Its clawed hands dripped with a vile, viscous substance. Its eyes bore into mine with an unholy intelligence, and its hot, rancid breath washed over me. Looking back, I'm not sure if it was running into this thing getting body checked by it, or its breath that sobered me up. But I couldn't afford to be paralyzed by fear, not if I wanted to survive this night. Summoning every ounce of my strength, I twisted and writhed beneath the creature's grasp, breaking free just in time to avoid its deadly bite. The creature's attack was relentless, its claws slashing through the air like a B-rated horror movie villain. I rolled to the side, narrowly avoiding its deadly strikes. My adrenaline surged, and I knew I had to fight back. Not just for my own survival, but to put an end to this supernatural nightmare. With a swift, well-placed kick, I sent the creature sprawling backward. It howled in agony, its grotesque form silhouetted against the eerie fog. I didn't hesitate. I pounced on the opportunity, my fists a blur of motion as I landed blow after blow. The creature fought back with a ferocity that defied its twisted appearance, and the battle raged on, like a scene from a dark fantasy. Blood, both mine and the creature's, stained the ground beneath us. My body ached with the effort of the fight, and I could feel the sting of numerous cuts and bruises, but I was determined to prevail, to show this unholy beast that I wouldn't be its next victim. As the brawl continued, I noticed something glinting in the dim light. My tactical combat knife, concealed in my jacket, was still within reach. With a quick, fluid motion, I retrieved the weapon and brought it to bear against the creature. The blade met resistance as it sliced into the creature's hide, and it howled in pain once more. It was a gruesome and desperate struggle but I fought on with every ounce of strength I could muster. The battle was a chaotic dance of claw and steel, a desperate bid for survival in the midst of a supernatural nightmare. Finally, with a calculated strike, I aimed for the creature's heart, driving the knife deep into its chest. It let out a bone-chilling, anguished howl its yellow eyes filled with a mixture of pain and dread. I pushed the blade in as far as it would go, expecting the creature to fall lifeless at my feet. Tonight, I wasn't playing just the tip. But to my astonishment, it didn't die. Instead, it emitted one final, hateful, desperate glare in my direction. Severely injured and fully aware that it might not emerge victorious from this encounter, the creature stumbled backward, its matted fur drenched in its own dark blood. With a painful limping gait, it turned and retreated, disappearing into the dense forest, vanishing into the shroud of lingering fog. I watched it go, breathing heavily, my hand still clutching the blood-stained knife. It was a chilling reminder of the night's horrific events. With a weary sigh, I made my way back to my car, the fog slowly receding around me. As I approached my now busted up car, damaged from not just hitting this beast, but also the tree, I looked up and saw a road sign. 
the road sign noting in its green and white gray row. The night had forever altered the course of my life, and I couldn't help but wonder if the beast would want to return, seeking vengeance for our brutal attack. But for now, I had survived, and the darkness of Bray Road held its secrets a little tighter, guarded by the enigmatic creature that lurked within. Still, despite all of what happened, sure is a total vehicle. An even more ominous thought crept into my mind. How am I going to explain this to my insurance? As the chilling egos of Bray Road's secrets fade into the night, our tale comes to an end. The beast of Bray Road has slunk back into the shadows, leaving behind an unforgettable encounter. Remember, in the darkness, the unimaginable often thrives, and the line between reality and nightmare is thin. If you've enjoyed this bone-chilling journey, kindly ask that you consider supporting our channel by liking and subscribing. Your support keeps the mysteries alive and the stories flowing. Until we meet again, sleep well, but never too deeply, for you never know what may lurk in the shadows. Thank you, and stay tuned for more tales of the supernatural.